Hello and welcome to Simudan and welcome to a very exciting video as I look for the first time at Spirit of Steam, the expansion for Train Simulator World 2. Um, now I'm going to get straight into this, um, so not to waste any time. So let's have a look. really like this uh, black and white aesthetic. Oh, bit laggy. Welcome to Crewe, located in the northwest of England. Step back in time and discover the soot and sounds of the steam era. Climb aboard iconic living locomotives hungry for coal and water. And work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic Merseyside and Cheshire. Oh, there you go, popped into colour. Right, let's you to begin. There's an empty poster over there. Let's fix that while we're here. He sounded remarkably bored. I think that's old uh, Matt doing the... Um, the voice over there from uh, Dovetail often does their live streams. Go on in, let's uh, grab this poster. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to refill sand buckets, fill coal sacks, place travel posters, and light braziers. Scotland for your holidays. Okay, let's head over here. Nice old uh, slam door trains, always nice to see. Really like how um, they've represented everything in sort of the oldie worldy type scene. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Ah, uh, you see, you can see that they've kind of made something that um, looks old, but is obviously. Uh, not a branded poster. Okay, let's get on then. Oh, oh look, little compartments. Take a seat in first class. Does it have to be any first class? or I, I don't want a compartment with other people, thanks. I want one on my own. No, there's too many people. No. Aha. Can I close this? Oh, I can. Look at that. Articles. Our value should not be left in a compartment in the absence of the owner. No, can't dim or brighten the lights. That's a shame. Set heater. Oh, I can do that. Well, that makes a lot of difference. Can't open the window though. Set the heaters. Okay. Sit down then. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, and then return to the game when ready. Like, I didn't already know that. Come on then, let's pause it. Hey. Uh, get to look at There we go, there's our objectives. Task log. Pause the game, review the task log. Hey, that's what I've just done. Oh, we're moving. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but you can just about sort of just get that old, like, knocking sound um, of the uh, as the train moves. It's quite nice. Oh, here we go. It's me on the outside view. This All these train tracks. is powered by an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive. These were built between 1934 and 1936 and originally nicknamed Red Staniers because of their original crimson livery, but later earned the nickname Jubilee when one of their class was named Silver Jubilee in recognition of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. 
During your journey as a driver on this route, you'll learn to drive this locomotive as well as the LMS Stania Class 8F, a freight locomotive. Nice. You'll learn to haul a variety of different freight between the bustling yards and perform both express and local stopping passenger services. Learn all there is to know about operating these iconic locomotives in an era when steam was king. Interesting how it's uh, the uh, Welcome to train sim light controlled steam. signals. Liverpool to crew. Why, thank you. Okay. Well, that's a nice introduction. Now, I'm going to hit continue and we'll get into actually driving one of these things. In this training module, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Stania Class 8F steam locomotive in VR Black livery. So I cut off a little bit of uh, who I believe is Matt talking to, to us there. Oh, the train along. Whoa, a bit of lag. It's really not liking being this close to a train, is it? Oh, look at that. So I think that might be the Mersey over there. Oh, that's stunning though. And all the old factory smoked smoking chimneys. Ah, oh, it's nice. Run down the platform. Ah, oh, look at that. They've even decided to add in blokes with their old styly hats. Ah, oh, even the people actually uh, fit the aesthetic. I'm quite surprised. Bridge then. Although so far I've only seen men, I've not seen any women. Please tell me they haven't been sexist when they uh, did this. Oh. Today you'll be taking over a freight service bound for Ditton. This class woman? of locomotive was built between 1935 and 1946 and was designed as a freight version of the highly successful Black 5 locomotive. Climb up onto the footplate to begin. Okay, let's climb up. Where's that door then? Where do I go? Privacy. Oh. Let's prepare the locomotive for departure. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures you'll get the maximum power to get the train moving. As you pick up speed, you'll need okay. to move it towards the center to save power. Right, that's in full forward. Use the combination brake to apply both types of brakes simultaneously. Vacuum brakes are released when there is a vacuum in the system. To apply braking force, air is added back in by the driver using the combination brake. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we use the ejectors. Okay. The small ejector should be left open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. Open the cylinder cocks to remove any water from cylinders after it has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive. The regulator acts like the throttle for the steam locomotive. It controls how much steam is delivered to the cylinders. Slowly open the regulator to apply power. Remember that power delivery is delayed in the steam. Applying too much power too early can put the wheel slip. Look at this, we are driving a steam train. Set cylinder. Uh, oh, that one. Now we're moving, we can open the regulator some more. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. It's quite nice. I like the, um, although I am missing the fact there is no fireman, but obviously someone is adding coal in to keep opening and closing that. Oh, oh they want us to cut 70%. Right? To pick up speed. 
Move the reverser towards the mid gear. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but saves energy. Okay, so once we're moving, we get the reverse back a bit. It doesn't like moving on the... Uh... Okay. Now I need to stop at disinjunction. It's all the way over there. Ah, uh, now that ruins it. Look at, look at the scenery. Just disappears further up over there. I, I, just empty void. I don't like that. But never mind. <laughs> we are ploughing along now, aren't we? easy though. Right, well I guess let's close the regulator. Going downhill as well, so that's going to help. See look, it's actually light controlled, I don't get it. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, so you can buy the brake. Oh, I'm speeding. Right, I'm applying the brake, it's not stopping. It is not stopping. Stop! So we've got plenty of mileage to go, so we will see. Okay, this is looking like we might actually stop in time now. You never know, because it just doesn't seem to be stopping at all, and I kind of assumed it would take a long, long time to stop. Ah, oh, here's the old styly signals, look. Look at them. That's what I expected all along this route, so this is obviously just as uh, thing sort of set as just as things are changing. Old style bus going across there. I don't like the fact I'm sort of bound to this chair, but knowing how the engine, as in the game's engine works, it's not surprising, I suppose. Ah, I'm really going a bit too slow now, I reckon. I don't want to push in any extra throttle or regulator though, because if I do that it's going to potentially cause all sorts of problems. See, I really have no idea of how to drive a steam train. I'm good with the others, but Steam trains, this is the uh, furthest I've really got. Great work. Let's see how you did. Let's see how I did. Well, I've got gold medal, and everything else seems good. The only thing that I did do is just here, just what you can just see the peak of red there, just went above. But no, ultimately, did all right. Great. Now, I'm going to go back to the menu at this point, I think. And uh, we can have a look then. Uh, you've got a semaphore signaling introduction. Do we want to play that first? Yeah, let's have a play that first. And then uh, I'll go back to the menu and see what you actually get included in this pack as a whole. Semaphore signaling.
Welcome to Ditton Junction. In this training module, we will learn how to read and react to semaphore signaling. Okay. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. The cheat sheet. We're good with that. I'm good with the cheat sheet. Green indicates that you are yep. clear to pass the signal. Yellow indicates That's that you cautious. can proceed, but with caution, as the next signal might be red, or there could be a hazard. I got that. We know all this already. Red indicates that you should stop and should not pass this signal. Okay, but that's not the semaphore signal, is it? Some of these displays can be hidden by other settings menu for a more challenging experience. Oh, we don't need more challenge. Now let's take a look at some of the signals we'll see on this line. Okay, let's. There are two principal classes of signals. Home and starter signals. These are mandatory, and an approaching driver must stop if the signal displays a danger aspect. Okay. Second. Red. Distant signals. These are a warning. An approaching driver may pass the signal displaying a caution aspect, but must be prepared to stop at the following signal. Okay, so straight out caution, down, go. The signal in front of you is currently displaying a danger aspect. That means the line ahead is not clear and you must wait. Okay, got it. Shall we start doing things like opening that? The signal in front of you has now cleared. However, the next distance signal could display caution meaning that the following signal will be displaying a danger aspect. Okay, so we want to get going like that, release the brakes, like that. Stay vigilant and keep an eye out for the next signal. Proceed when ready. Oh, I got a bit of wheel slip. Look at that. Of course, I have. There we go. So now I'm going. Cylinder cock is closed. Cylinder. Yeah, cylinder cocks. Yeah. See, I don't even know. Get me. If I go fully open, will we not? Okay, we'll try it. Well, why not? We'll spin doing that though. You can always just look at the heads up display if you're unsure what the next signal is. Yeah, I can do that. Would be cheating, wouldn't it? See much behind me? No. Oh, got cold doors. Ooh. Oh, my mate is playing around. I really should be looking at the signal. So, ah, that's that said red, but I think that's because the front of the train had passed it. But I know, <laughs> using my cheat sheet, I know that the next one's red, and I can see it. It's red. Oh no! Now. Now that's green, okay. Yeah, I feel like they've focused so much on the trains that the route's kind of as nice as it looks like in certain places, especially from the stations, at least from that station we were at earlier. Is it Runcorn? Like, yeah, I just feel like a lot of this, it's not very well textured and it just feels a little bit like they've skimped. Open that window. Why would you want that window open? 
anyone that knows anything about steam trains, let me know why you'd possibly want the front window open. I guess it's just for a little bit of draft, but would you not get steam in your face? Seeing if there's anything else I can interact with while I'm looking around. What are these? Gauge class isolating. Okay, don't know. Ooh. Whistle. Oh! Is that supposed to happen? I know that... Yeah, see, I knew this. That when you blew a whistle on a train, it would release steam. But I think it should be coming from here. And it's obviously, instead of there, and it's obviously clipping through the top of the cab with the steam. Not exactly uh, what you'd hope for, is it? But nonetheless, I've seen that the train is struggling uphill. The same train as I was driving just a minute ago. Going downhill, we picked up speed really quickly. Going up, we're not. Now, can I add in a little bit of extra power by changing the... I go six sixty percent on the uh No that's that's still not gonna do anything for me is it? There's another signal there. Okay. I'm a bit confused now as to why I'm doing this. Oh, the next one's red, and it's not very far away, but I had no warning. Slow down, train. And now it's green. Oh, fuck. Uh, love of everything. Let's just please, like, not do that to me. Firebox door. Way. Oh, that's. Look at that. Look at the way that on the floor it really brightens everything up. See, little effects like that, I really appreciate. But then I don't appreciate it when you get steam clipping through the top of the cab. Yeah, we'll keep the roof vent open, why not? Is there something I'm doing wrong? Or... Is it just because there's a very slight gradient I'm just going to be stuck at a low speed? Also, I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to read these gauges down in this corner. Not been very well explained to me. Now what does the large injector do? If I open that, is it... I think that's more to do with the brakes, isn't it? It's not an old abandoned station. It's an old abandoned station. That does surprise me. See, I think these might be quite nice. Um, maybe driving 
um, sort of heritage stock on ordinary railways. This one is a caution signal. Right, let's take caution then. Let's close the regulator and start slowing down because now we're actually hurtling away, going downhill, aren't we? I think that's because of the 15 mile an hour speed limit coming up there. Of uh, good sidings up there. Are we at? Speak down, apparently. Don't speak up, speak down. Oh, I wanted it. Come on, give it a bit of a. Just keep me around about 15, please. Come on. I slowed down too much, I get it. I've learnt my lesson. Now let's let's go at 15, yeah. A tall signal box, I guess it would have to be with all that over there. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, and we're speeding, we're speeding, we're speeding. Of course we are, this is me. Too busy looking signal boxes. And we're stopping here, aren't we? See, now this was supposed to be a signalling tutorial. And I've not been stopped by a single signal all the way here. It kind of feels a little bit like it's not really taught me anything. Unless I get a surprise signal between here and the end of this siding, but I very much doubt that. In fact, I know I don't because it says so at the top. Yeah, it'd be nice to have an actual... Um okay, crashing again. Uh, who knows um, why it keeps doing that, but... Apparently it likes to uh, go a little slow when uh, I'm driving steam trains. But yeah, it'd be nice to actually see the fireman. I think the fireman? Is that the right word? The shovel guy at work. But um, you kind of just see what he's doing, but you don't see him doing it. Basically, the invisible man. What's the flat do? Ooh. Right, well, we're almost there. We're uh, snail pacing it again. Let's give it just a little bit more welly. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying like the um, trains. Um, obviously I've seen a few little things that I dislike. The scenery could be, uh, it's possibly a little lacking, for example. And uh, you got the bugginess of, well you would have the bugginess of that if we were going. Right, that's everything for that. Now I get that nice little screen at the end. There it is. Oh look, I was speeding, but I still got a gold. Now you might be interesting. Um, you might be wondering why I'm only level forty-six. Only level forty-six on here. Um, now that's because I also play um, on Xbox as well but it's easier to record on PC and I tend to do more 
on Xbox, although I don't have all the same expansions, so you might find that this level goes up significantly, because I haven't yet bought this on Xbox, and I don't know whether I will or not. Right. I think at this point, let's go back to... Um, so yeah, now we're on like scenarios and things. So let's go back to the main menu, and we'll have a look through and see what we actually get. So here we are at the menu. So uh, you get um, five training modules, uh, three of which we've done. We got a next one we'll have will be refueling, um, and then the jubilee class. So yeah, kind of what you'd expect, but I didn't expect to have the refueling on there. Apparently, what we just did. Should have only taken 15 minutes. I'm not sure how long it actually took us. Um, obviously, you've got the Explore on Foot. You've got six scenarios here. So, Bovine Blockage. A uh, four-legged friend has come to spot an early morning service between Liverpool, Lime Street and Crew. Where between there? Who knows? I got... Tables have turned. Turn a Jubilee locomotive around at Crew North Sheds and couple up to a passenger service at Crew. So a little bit of a shunting, a passenger shunt. A really reliable rescue. A stranded train has phoned through for help. Go and lend a helping hand. So yeah. No, you don't actually get told how how long they should take, do you? Oh, this one's not a very long one. Look at that. Uh, collect carriages bound for Liverpool Lime Street and return to Edge Hill. Okay. Worst of winter, rough weather along the line means trains are having to run carefully to manage their loads in the conditions. Ah, so of course, now having to try and deal with the weather in a steam train. That'll be an interesting one to play for. Moving around the Mersey. Um, in this sandbox scenario, you can sort and build consists as you please. Now, they did this with, um, oh, this is the last one. Um, they did this with, um, I can't think what it is, the American line that comes with the base game. Um, will come to me in a minute. But they did it with that one where they just gave you a yard and you could do whatever you liked. Um, but yeah, that. That's interesting. I think that will be quite a nice one to play around with. Um, not sure how often I'll use it personally, but I can see the appeal. Um, and then you've got 135 different timetables. So let's have a look. If you take the LMS, so this is like the freight. Got a fair few of those. All differing amounts of time. Nothing over an hour there, I don't think. A one minute long, edge hill to edge hill. <laughs> Barely seems worth loading that one up. And the Jubilee line one. You have quite a few more of these ones. Nice. Be interesting to see how how much you actually uh, London Euston to Blackpool sent. Obviously, that's just a bit between. Uh, so you go from Crew to Hartford on that one. So yeah, be be interesting to have a look through these at some point. See how busy the line actually gets. It looks as if it's quite busy. Be an interesting one. And of course, you get all your usual tools and uh, whatnot with that, and a journey. Um, I think you only get one journey. Let's have a look. Yeah, let off some steam. See, So it takes through 40 different um, timetables and scenarios. Um, so that's not, not too bad. So, so what you get is two trains, the route between Crewe and Liverpool Lime Street, um, and the um and 135 timetables six scenarios and five training 
sessions and of course the train can be you can change livery and you've got the scenario planner um, I've got a scenario planner um, tutorial if you're interested um, link down below have a look at that um, let's have a quick look at livery designer and see if you can actually use it on the how that works on a locomotive because the odd shape of it I can't quite figure out in my head how that will work let's have a look so I've loaded up the Steiner locomotive here. It's uh, nice and grey, so they give you a really horrible blank canvas. Still black at the end there. Let's have a look. Um, oh, let's make it a real vulgar pink, shall we? Just for... Oh, look at that. There we go. It's that's and then ah so this is a separate one so let's paint that um so you can have like the nice sort of like what you'd expect it to be but of course i'm gonna go all in on the pink there we go so let's confirm that um Let's add a layer, Let's have a look, uh, go for a logo, Queen's Jubilee. Yeah, why not? Let's go for that on the right hand side. Move it around. Options. Can we like change the color of that? I don't know. I'm not completely up with my um, my livery editor, if I'm completely honest. But there you go. Oh look, it's on the other side. How do you rotate? I don't know how to rotate the camera. See, told you, not not up with this at all. Would you like to change, save changes? Who wants a bright pink train? No, thank you. Right, um, so yeah, you get a good amount with it. I like it, as I say, there's a few little things that I don't like about it, but the fact we finally, after so many years, get steam trains in um, Train Simulator World is just outstanding. It's what so many of us have been asking for for so long. And uh, honestly, I've really enjoyed um, the short time that I've played with you guys today. So, um, yeah, if you've liked this, then uh, show show me that you have by hitting that thumbs up. Um, it'd be really amazing if you subscribe. I'm almost at 250 um, and I'm thinking of maybe doing something when I reach 250 um, in way of celebration. Um, so, yeah, if, if we get to that 250 subscribers, then uh, I'll uh, make sure that we do something. So have a have a look out for that. In the meantime, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.